Let's make restaurant style waffles today using ingredients that you can find in your kitchen and using some of my favorite products. There are so many ways to make waffles. You can have them with fruits, you can have them with chicken, you can have them plain with eggs. And today I'm going to show you two ways that I love to make waffles. Well, I actually have three ways, but I'll show you two ways today. If this is your first time here, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. My name is Yemisi. Welcome to my kitchen. For the first waffle, we'll use plain flour, one egg, melted butter, and we're just going to put that flour in a sieve, that is to sift every impediment. We're adding some baking powder. And then we're just going to sift it's important to sift because sometimes your flour may have like insects it might have things and if it doesn't have any of that um, the baking powder can have lumps so it's best to just melt everything so that they go through the sieve this is a very important process when you're doing something baked now I'm adding some salt and I'm also going to add some sugar if you're worried about the measurements, the correct measurements will be in the description box. So please check that out. So this first step is mixing all the dry ingredients together. Now to the wet ingredients, we're using some milk. Now add the egg into the mixture. Just whisk it slightly. Mix everything together. and transfer to the bowl with the dry ingredients. Now add the melted butter. And whisk everything together. You don't have to whisk it too much, just for a couple of seconds and you're fine. Are you a waffle or a pancake person? Let me know in the comment section. I feel like during lockdown, I became more of a waffle person because there's this restaurant in Lagos that has really, really good waffles. And of course, we couldn't have access to it. So I decided to perfect my waffles. And let me tell you, they're better than restaurant waffles. Because I love waffles so much, I have two machines I use for my waffles. I have the electronic waffle maker and I have like the manual one that you put on the cooker I'll show you next what you want to do is just slightly grease your waffle maker with butter I just do that quickly so that it doesn't stick and then we turn it on after turning it on you have to pour in your butter make sure you don't put too much if you put too much it's just going to spill outside your waffle maker so just put about half a cup cover it and allow it to cook because this is electronic it has a way of telling you that it is cooked so it has the red light and the green light for when it is ready but the thing is you can open it when the green light is showing and it will not be ready so you have to choose the browning you want for your waffles i like mine to be very brown this is my standard waffle recipe i use it all the time most of the time for breakfast it can be lunch it can be dinner <laughs> it depends on how i'm feeling so this happens very fast making it does not take up to 10 minutes because the waffle making itself in the electronic waffle maker takes about three minutes and then you mixing the ingredients together takes maybe three minutes so it doesn't take a long time now to dress up your waffles you can use fruits which is what i use most of the time or you can use chicken which i use when i want to spoil myself or you can use ice cream <laughs> i use ice cream when i'm really really trying to be indulgent so this is how i dress my waffles and i'm using this serving board this marble serving board that i showed you in my haul video it is so pretty and it is made in Nigeria if you're interested this video was brought to you by Visa Nigeria 
it is a reminder that you can get a lot of amazing made in nigeria stuff or just things that you can buy locally so we need to remember to patronize our local stores and vendors just as a way to sustain the market where you shop actually matters as a consumer which is why i want to show you guys this white ambre yogurt i've been using it for over a month now and i love it it's one of my favorite yogurts and they have different flavors today i'm using the agbalomo flavor for this waffle so the next waffle we're just going to put our flour in a bowl and mix baking powder add some salt add some sugar and add powdered milk mix everything together so that it is nicely combined this is the waffle I make when I'm trying to be team fit farm like I'm trying to eat healthier because we're not adding some butter in this recipe we're going to use just the yogurt milk and the other ingredients so I'm using this Greek yogurt by white and bright this is the Agbalumo flavor. They have different flavors. I've tried the Fura flavor. I just finished that one actually. <laughs> I really like that one. And they have so many other flavors. Um, but this is the one I'm using for this recipe. I'm going to add some water and then mix everything so that I get a nice consistency. This is my second waffle maker. This is like my manual one. All you have to do is put it on the cooker. It's not electric. So that way I can use it anytime, even if there's no electricity. And then I'm using this spray oil. Like I told you, this is my Fit Farm waffle recipe. <laughs> and you just spray on the waffle maker lightly. Please spray the waffle pan before you turn on the cooker. Don't turn on the cooker before you spray. It can catch fire. So I'm just pouring my waffle mix in my waffle maker. And then after about a minute, the thing with this one, you have to keep checking it and you have to keep turning it and you have to just check gauge by yourself to see if it is ready. I actually really, really love this particular waffle maker because of the shape. It's like a heart shape and it was very, very affordable to buy. I'll put the link of the person that sold it to me. I'll put the link in the description. It was very affordable and it's lasted a very long time already. And it just makes my waffle look very delicious and different from what you typically see. This is what my waffle looked like. Tell me if I came to you and charge you restaurant fees for these waffles. Tell me you won't pay. <laughs> I'm about to start my business, CCME Waffles Ministry. <laughs> so I topped it with some berries and some banana syrup. I just sifted a bit of caster sugar on it to give it that really nice look and it was so good you guys. This is such an amazing recipe. I hope you try it. If you're a merchant or an SME, log on to visa.com.ng to register on the Visa Small Business Hub. It will be very beneficial to you. Look at the products I used today for this recipe, the ingredients. I hope you like them. If you do, click the like button. Support their businesses by patronizing them. Be the ideal customer that shops local. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!